Hi everybody, it's Jackie from iCats. These series of videos are complementary to the manuals that iCats is producing. There are five manuals all together and a couple of these manuals do have videos that complement them. I understand that not everybody can learn from reading or just looking at pictures for step by step. So we've made the videos for you. If you can get a stuffed animal, practice these holds, practice these techniques with a stuffed animal. That way you're training your hand for muscle memory. Then when you're dealing with a feisty feline, you won't have to stop and think, where do I put my hand? Where do I do this? What do I do with my thumb? It's all going to be automatic and you'll be able to get through that groom like nobody's business. You're going to be happy. Cat's going to be happy. You're not going to be bleeding and hopefully neither will the cat. I hope you enjoy these videos, even if you do not take a formal ed formal course or education for cat grooming, please watch them, learn the techniques, stay safe, stay educated, have fun. Now let's go see what this next video is all about. Talk to you soon guys. Hi everybody, I'm Jackie. I have the International Cat Accredited Training School for Groomers, otherwise known as iCats. The first time I ever tried to groom a cat. I got bit 13 times on my hands. My hands were so swollen um, that I was not able to groom any dogs for about four to six weeks and I was on lots of antibiotics and lots of anti-inflammatories. Looking back then, um, I, I look at how I handled that cat and what I did and I deserved each and every one of those holes and bites that were in my hands and, and in my arms. I swore off grooming cats at that point, decided I was just going to stick with dogs, as so many groomers do. I, I hear a lot of groomers that go, I'm never going to groom a cat, got bit, I'm done. And I was one of those groomers. I was there. And then I moved a couple times and opened a shop in, in wherever place that I moved in. And there was always someone phoning, begging, I've got a great cat. And, and I did do them. And they were great cats. And I did them fast. And I was, I was very scared. And I was very um, cautious. And then when I moved to our present location in Sylvan Lake here, um, I got a phone call for an emergency groom on a Sunday and I accidentally picked up the phone and it was in fact a cat that was choking, the owner said. So I brought it in and, and it was, it was blue. She was choking um, from the mats around her throat. Great cat, wonderful cat. I still shave that cat today. Um, then I started getting more and more calls for cats and they were all really good cats. They, they were there and, and I knew how to handle animals under stress. I'd worked in vet clinics for about 10 years previous to that so I understood how stress affects animals and how they behave in, a, in an environment that is causing them grief or, or not, not making them feel very calm. And as I consistently groomed the cats I would consistently get really good cats and then some not so good cats and, and I, I learned how to deal with them. I guess the, the universe or the powers that be just kept tossing things at me that I was ready for. I came to a point where I needed um, to further my skills. I uh, went down to California to the Professional Cat Grooming Association of America. Um, I went down, I took their course and I tested and I, I got my masters in cat grooming and I'm also a certifier for them as well if people are, are taking uh, their education process through them. I can test them and, and certify them um, as well wherever I am. And I took a, a weekend seminar um, from the National Cat Grooms Institute of America as well. Again, furthering my knowledge. And a lot of my skills um, I learned on my own. It was a lot of trial and error. Uh, a lot of scratches. I've got the scars to prove it as well. And then I decided to start iCats. Um, I've decided I wanted to teach more people on a broader level. Um, I didn't want to hold education hostage for people that couldn't access it. So uh, we've, we've got these videos that are, are for the, you guys, the groomer. They are complementary to the manuals that I am producing and, and hopefully they will be all produced by 2019. Um, the course can be done. We have several ways to, to get you educated and to certify you. Um, you can take a seminar, which is a two-day seminar. It's highly interactive. There's lots of education um, and uh, lots and lots of hands-on of, of grooming the cats. Then you can take the manuals. There's five manuals all together and you can learn those at home. I, I don't think that we really need to um, sit in a classroom and, and you reading a manual with me watching. I'm 
pretty sure most of you can can do that at home and then the testing we can do in person I can test in your shop you can come to my shop and, and I can test you I can also test you online for practical um, we can do it via messenger I've done a couple girls in India now via messenger so it's a lot of fun through through messenger I really like online testing uh, for the written the, the the written testing we can do that in person again um, at any grooming show or grooming event that I'm going to be at we can certainly uh, do the testing we can do it by proctor, uh, which is where I send an exam to a librarian or the police station or a school. They call you, you go in and write it under their supervision. Or we, again, we can do it online um, via Messenger or Skype, and I can read you the questions and you can answer, answer them directly to me. So there's a lot of different options. Once we're done, all the manuals, all of the whole course um, will be available online for you in small chunks that you can do and uh, at your again at your leisure my main uh, end game of, of, of this whole of the whole iCats business is to teach groomers how to groom cats safely I don't like reading about when groomers are are in the hospital when they show me their 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 bites and their scratches and how they're swelling up and and I certainly don't like seeing cats getting hurt traumatized um, or killed in essence a lot of cats will die after a grooming session because the stress is just too much and if you don't recognize it then you don't know you're you know you really don't and uh, cats aren't dogs we need to treat them differently there's a lot of excellent excellent dog groomers out there and they get tossed a cat and so of course they're going to do what's natural to them and that's loop them up treat them like a dog and they're not dogs they behave completely different than dogs and so I hope that you can learn from these videos, even if you don't take any formal education. Um, watch the videos, learn from them, practice the holds on a stuffed animal so that you have that muscle memory. Uh, these, these are for you. And if you want to further your education and learn more, my manuals are all available on Amazon to anybody. Um, and if you want to go further uh, and test, by all means, we can certainly do that for you. If you want to uh, get a little bit more advanced knowledge or if you're not comfortable with the practical stuff, we can send an ICATS instructor to you. You can attend one of the seminars in your area. Um, I can, we can set up through Skype if we're quite a distance away or you can come directly to my shop. There are lots of cats that we can practice on for clients and they're more than willing to, to offer them up to you. So I hope you stay educated. I hope you stay safe and I hope you enjoy the videos, enjoy the manuals and enjoy the course. Talk to you soon. Hi everybody, it's Jackie from iCats. You're about to embark on a very journey, big journey of being a pirate. Because we're going to go pirates. Yeah, 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 pirates. 